hello guys welcome back to the channel i have this um uh, slicer here um it's pretty good that's why i want to show it to you guys maybe you can get it for your kitchen it's called veggie slicer and guys it's pretty good guys um i have tried it and it worked but it didn't work with my um french fries because i wanted it to be long you know how french fries look but with every other thing as you can see on the um the package here it cuts onions tomatoes carrots and everything else guys so it's pretty good for the kitchen if you are someone who uh don't like the flame from the onions i think this will be pretty good for you guys so i bought it but i haven't used it before i'm trying to use it now with my um french fries to fry some fries for my kids so i was just looking at it and seeing how it is so um it got a lot of slices it have um as you can see here uh the space the square space right here is where you put the uh tool to cut the onions and the tomatoes and all of those things that um so it comes with a lot of uh things that you use i think this one here is for um peeling it and the other one that i think is for lemon squeezing lemon or something like that i have I will figure it out and this one here these are the pieces the slices like you use to grate stuff and other things like that and this one here cut onions it have uh, the large one and the small one guys and this thing is pretty sharp when you're using it be very careful especially putting it on on the blade yeah I don't know what this one is meant for though so this one I'm gonna try and put it on on the um, on the slicer to see how it work but uh, we will find out together okay so I was just playing with it here and uh, I was so excited to slice my uh, french fries yeah my potatoes into a french fries in that kind of shape but yeah I was so disappointed but you guys will see what happened be careful with your finger when you're using it because the blade is really sharp this thing is pretty good when you when you like cutting onions and tomatoes and other things i'll be using it more more often you guys will see it in my video but yeah and i bought this actually i bought it 27 dollars on ebay yeah i saw this on on youtube uh one lady was showing it and i was like oh okay let me go and get mine so I got mine now and I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I was so excited. Sorry guys, the original sign of the video, um, there was noise in there, music, the kids were playing, so I wasn't able to to um upload it like that. So I was just talking about the blade, how sharp it is here. So be careful with it. Be be very careful guys. You don't want your hands slashed, okay? so i was trying to put it in but it didn't go the other way so i was like oh okay i think it should go the other way so i turn it around you guys will see in the video yeah that's when it just click you know yeah so you, as you, you notice my hand is not over the blade i'm trying to like put it in from the side so as i said be very careful okay so when you look at it, you will see where it's supposed to go it's so it's so easy it's not hard i figure it out if I say I figure it out, I did, guys. <laughs> it's so hard for me to put things together. So but I put this together, okay? So that's all you need to put that right there. And then you can cut your onions. You can cut your tomatoes. You can cut your potatoes. But in this case, it is potatoes. I was hoping to get the shape of a French fries because I saw the hole in between. I thought I was going to stand it up and just press it down for it to be sliced. But this my i mean this uh slicer you have to lay the um the stuff you cut you have to lay it down like that to cut it and i don't know why i didn't figure this out because it's on the package so 
This is why I tell a friend to press it down, but something just said, press it down. Why are you afraid? You ain't going to break it. And I just hit it, and that's what happened. It just slashed it. So can you imagine if you can slash this like this? Be careful of your finger, guys. <laughs> Be careful of your fingers. So look how it came up, and that's the big size I use. That's why it is, it is large like this. So they have two. They have the one that will cut the onion or the whatever, so small, small. But I use the big one. Uh, that's why it look big like that. So this one thing, um, put no not potato. Uh, tomatoes will be good for this particular slice. So you can use the smaller one to cut your onions, and it will make the onions so, so small. So <laughs> this is me. I did stupid. I think I, I wanted to stand it up so it can give me that uh, French fry shape. But I was like, mm, forget it. At least it worked, you know. I didn't waste my money. But I was excited in a way to just see it work like that. So this is it. <laughs> so they show the package of cut onions and the tomatoes there, they slice it. So I, I didn't want my, to the tomato, mm, my potato to be sliced like this. So I was like, no, I want the french fries um, shape. So I had to cut the potatoes with my hand to make it like french fries. For the kids, because there's no way you can fry this and give it to the kids for them to eat it. <laughs> they want our French fries to be long, you know, when they put it in the ketchup for them to be able to eat it. So, but it's pretty good, guys. As you can look at it here, if you're cutting a tomato, it will come out good. If you're cutting uh, onions, it will come out good. But this one is the big one. They have the other one that is smaller. So, if you want any small pieces, you can get it like that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So this is it, okay? Bye-bye.